Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Yoga Librium. I have a beautiful, flowing vinyasa class for you this morning and a short meditation. We're going to get started sitting on our heels at the back of the mat. Let's float the arms up. Take a deep inhale. Fill your lungs completely. And on your exhale, go ahead and extend your hands forward and release your forehead towards your mat. Taking some deep breaths into the back space of your body. And slowly starting to roll yourself all the way up. And returning to a neutral spine here. We're going to open up the arms. Take a deep inhale. Send the chest forward. Take the gaze up. And then exhale. Wrap right arm on top of left. And give yourself a hug here. Deep breath into the space between your scapula. Inhale. Open the chest. Open the arms. Extend. Exhale around. Take the opposite arm on top this time. And let's do a few more of these. Keep following your own breath. Make the breath expansive as you start to wake up your body. Beautiful. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, open the chest and exhale. Let's take the forehead towards the mat and reach the knuckles up towards the ceiling. And we'll softly start to let that go. Let the hands return out in front of you. And roll yourself all the way back up. Beautiful. Take the hands forward for a moment, tuck the toes behind you, and then go ahead and sit your hips back on top of your heels. We're gonna breathe here for a few breaths. You can bring your hands together in front of your heart. Beginning to wake up your toes, giving some extra care and attention to your feet. Last deep breath here. And now we'll crawl the hands forward again. We're gonna keep the left knee planting down and extend the right leg back. Let's press for a moment into the calf. And then we're gonna pick that right leg up. We're gonna take it around behind us over towards the left side of the mat so you can create a nice curve for the right side body. Take your gaze towards those toes. On your next inhale, lift the leg back up, pull the knee into the chest and plant that right foot down and then extend your back knee. Sink the hips, open the chest. Exhale, press the floor away and round your spine. Inhale, root through the right heel as you float the arms up. Exhale, keep the lunge, send the chest towards the thigh and reach the arms up behind you. Inhale, come back up to your lunge. Exhale, plant your hand, step your right foot back and let's press back into our downward facing dog. Relaxing your head here with gravity. And then roll forward back into your plank. This time drop your right knee down and extend the left leg back. Press back into the calf. Pick the left leg up, take it up and over, creating that same curve here for the left side body. Good, inhale, pick it back up, bend the knee, bring it through to your chest, plant your left foot this time, tuck the right toes and extend the knee, sink the hips, inhale, exhale, round into your spine. 
Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, send the arms behind you, drop your chest down. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, plant it down. Send your left foot back to meet the right, setting up your high plank and press back. Downward facing dog. A few more breaths here. And gazing up towards your hands, roll it back into high plank. And we'll soften again the left knee towards the mat and float the right leg up. Take it around behind you again for the curve. And then this time we're gonna pick the leg up and wrap it so that right knee stacks on top of left. We're gonna sit back into our shoelace pose. So you can take a second here to ground the sit bones. Don't worry if your knees aren't perfectly stacked, just allow it to be however it is this morning. Relax the shoulders back, deep breaths. Then you're gonna go ahead and reach the left arm up. You can take the right hand to add a little bit of added pressure. If you have a strap, or if you can reach the right arm around behind you to catch the left fingers, go ahead and do so. And a final option might be to fold forward here. Inhale, come back up. Gently release the arm. Float them both up towards the sky and then take them behind you. We're gonna release the left leg from underneath. We're gonna come into this figure four position. So the right ankle is over top of the left knee and then gently just move a little bit from side to side, encouraging that right hip to open up. Go ahead and extend the left leg towards straight. Inhale, float the arms and exhale, folding here. and slow come on up let's take the right knee up to the ceiling and cross the right foot over top of the left knee wrap left arm around right knee and gaze over your right shoulder for a twist releasing your gaze forward go ahead and release both your legs cross your ankles plant your hands down then return to your tabletop position. We'll send the left leg back. And we're gonna pick that leg up and over for our curve. Inhale, bring left knee over top of right this time and go ahead and sit yourself all the way down. Second side. feels good to do so, float the right arm up and bend the elbow. Left hand can encourage that opening of the shoulder. Or taking your strap or prop or reach the left arm around. See if fingertips can reach towards each other. Keep lifting the crown of the head up towards the sky. And last option, inhale to lift. And exhale, take your time, fold forward. them up towards the sky plant them behind you and this time taking that second side this time the left ankle over top of the right knee gently moving from side to side and keep lifting through your chest as you're ready go ahead and straighten your right leg towards straight inhale float your arms up and exhale fold it forward Come on up, let the left sole of the foot connect towards the mat. Wrap right arm around left knee and gaze over your left shoulder, taking deeper breaths in your twists. And 
let's go ahead and release. Cross the ankles, plant your hands down. Send your legs back, high plank. And take it back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen when you arrive and exhale, fold. Press your feet, let's fly all the way up, reach the arms, inhale, and exhale, palms in front of your heart, inhale, floating back up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lengthen and lift, exhale, plant your hands, step or jump your feet back and lower down through your version of Chaturanga, inhale, taking upward facing dog and exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. And keep softening any tension in your body that you can find. Inhale, take your gaze forward. Step or jump back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, fly all the way up, reach the arms. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Again, inhale to lift up and exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen, come up halfway. Exhale, step just your right foot back this time and we'll take a fold over the left leg. From here, we're gonna inhale, lift the chest, take the arms to the inside of the legs, and then pivot ourselves around to a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, releasing down. Inhale, press into your feet, float your arms all the way up, and then we're gonna bend the right elbow, and if you can, reach the left arm around and catch fingers. Otherwise, you can use your strap again here. Press your feet, inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, Folding forward. And try to soften into your neck here. Allow your head to hang heavy. Coming up halfway, we're going to release the right arm down and reach the left fingertips up towards the sky for a twist. Good, reaching the left hand and the right hand over towards that left ankle or shin, whatever you can catch, and fold over that left leg again. Inhale, come on up. And then let's pivot ourselves around to face the back of the mat so that we're in that same forward fold, this time over the right leg. wide-legged forward fold and release your head down inhale press your feet fly all the way up reach the arms and this time the left elbow will bend the right arm's gonna wrap around for the strap or to catch fingers press the feet down inhale lift exhale take your forward fold towards the floor and the right arm up towards the sky twist the right arm will reach for your right leg left arm reaches too. take that fold over the right side go ahead and walk yourself all the way back around towards the front of your mat send left foot back to meet right high plank inhale here exhale chaturanga lower all the way to your belly this time and 
let's come up and take a few breaths in Sphinx Pose. And setting up your elbows underneath your shoulders and guiding your heart forward through your arms. Option to come up into seal, pressing into the hands and straightening out the elbows. down into Sphinx if you were lifted up and from Sphinx all the way down, resting your forehead on top of your hands. And then let's go ahead and press ourselves back into child's pose. Roll yourself all the way back up. We're going to bring the knees closer together this time and then we're going to reach hands back to catch our heels. Tuck your forehead towards the mat. We're going to float the hips up and come into rabbit pose. And take one more breath here. And then softly let the hips land again on the heels. And gently bring the torso all the way back up. Beautiful. Reaching the right arm back, let's float the right knee up off the mat. Get a nice stretch for the front of the foot. And switch sides. seated position we're going to take just a few minutes of meditation together so we can set an intention for our day and feeling your sit bones root down take a moment just to elongate the spine and send the crown of the head all the way up towards the sky connect even more to the quality of your breath surrendering to as much stillness as you can find here. With your hands relaxing in your lap or on top of your knees. And let's take this time to set an intention for our day. Deciding what kind of day we want to create what kind of energy we want to manifest, what kind of life we want to live because we can only live life day by day. So allowing the feeling of this intention to move through your body with your breath. Thank 
deepen your breath. Let's bring the palms together in front of our heart, bow our chin to our chest. And bringing this intention that we just meditated on with us off the mat and into the day. And go ahead and rub your palms together, generate some heat between your hands, place them over top of closed eyes and inhale. And exhale, let it go. And thank you guys so much for joining me for this morning yoga class. I really hope you have the most incredible day. And if you like this video, please leave a like, maybe a comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste.